Morning is Bakersfield Mayor Karen Go here to talk more about what we can do as a community to stop the spread of coronavirus and how to safely enjoy the outdoors. Good morning, Mayor. How are you? Good morning. Very well. And how are you doing? Um, we're doing all right. Uh, let's let, let's talk a little bit about uh, what we heard from the president yesterday, talking about extending the social distancing guidelines until April 30th. That means that we have a month left to go at at, at the very earliest before those guidelines are going to be lifted, uh, which means people should continue to practice social distancing. Let's just first talk about the importance of social distancing in stopping the spread of COVID-19. We're hearing repeatedly from our physicians, from our healthcare providers about the importance of social distancing. And we can control our own destiny as a community. Yes, this has been extended, but we get to really determine whether as a community, we're gonna follow the directions. And so making sure that we maintain that six foot social distancing, no matter where we are, this weekend at the parks, I heard, uh, unfortunately, uh, some reports of people who weren't observing that. And we want people to go out in the, the parks, the exercise, the but let's make sure we're observing that social distancing. Let's talk about um, about the parks because again, uh, under this new or under these guidelines, you can still go outside and enjoy the outdoors. But I mean, I, I'll admit, when I was out going to the grocery store over the weekend, um, I did see the parks packed with people. Um, is there a concern if you do go to the park, uh, trying to enjoy the outdoors, but they are packed and you are going to be sharing the park with other people? In the parks, we want to make sure that we continue to allow us to enjoy those uh, wonderful uh, opportunities to be outdoors. And so we're just calling upon everyone to make sure that they use the parks wisely, use common sense, and just maintain that distance. Yes, there are people, and that's why we are making a plea to encourage our community to observe that distancing, even in the park. No gatherings in the park and stay off the play equipment. Uh, let's exercise in the parks. And that's what our doctors are encouraging us to do during this time of stress. Let's get out there, let's exercise, but use common sense. Has the city of Bakersfield done enough to prevent the spread of the virus? Uh, the the city of Bakersfield is committed to doing whatever we can, and we are out there messaging on a regular basis. We are prepared. Uh, we have certainly observed the guidelines here in City Hall uh, with our staff, but we want to continue encouraging others. It's only as everyone takes on that personal responsibility that we can make a difference for our community. You know, we can have some sectors observe and some sectors not observe, and that doesn't work. So we're calling out to everyone to stay at home unless you are providing or obtaining an essential service and just use common sense. We're about, we've, we've, we've heard from federal um, all the way down to local health officials talk about uh, the curve and flattening the curve. And they say where we are on the curve, we're about uh, two to three weeks before we peak, uh, which means that we're gonna be in this for the long haul. Do you think that we could see more restrictions come uh, for the residents of Bakersfield to crack down, especially if people are not practicing social distancing? You know, we've heard from the governor many times to uh, self-monitor and use social pressure. And that is really what we are hoping that we will do is as we continue to message all of us together, every one of us will realize the personal responsibility. And that way we can certainly control the amount of time that we have to face this challenge in our community. So yes, we've heard there's a ways to go, but let's as a community Bakersfield choose to do the right thing and shorten that time. Other cities in the Bay Area and down to our south in Southern California have actually cited people uh, because they were not practicing social distancing. Do you think that, are you prepared to take similar measures, um, ask um, our police department to possibly, to possibly do something like that? Is our city council able to do something like that if it gets out of hand? Our commitment is to keep our residents safe and we will take the appropriate actions at the appropriate time. 
I did some follow-up actually this weekend with our, or this last week with public health. And there were some restaurants and businesses not observing. And so public health inspectors went out there. I sent a letter of admonition and also connecting them to business services. And so we're going to take one step at a time. We're calling upon everyone to follow the regulations so that we do not have to do anything uh, more uh, severe. Okay, really quick because we're running low on time. I have to ask you though, because um, we want to talk about relieving that stress. And you were talking about enjoying the outdoors and so forth. What is open and what is closed in regards to people going to the parks? So stay off the playground equipment, the basketball courts are closed, tennis courts, pickleball courts. We close those and lock those down. As you know, we can't lock down the park. So use the outdoor area wisely, enjoy, exercise. All right, and keeping and that stay safe. and keeping safe and keeping that six foot distance between you and other people. Bakersfield Mayor Karen Go, thank you so much for joining us this morning and, and please stay safe. Thank you for having me. Stay safe.